Alright, welcome back to part 6 of Quake. Um, so let's see. Crypt of Decay. And here we go. Um, so yeah, I actually forgot to turn up the mic volume again. I'm so good at that. So I'm actually re-recording the, the, uh, the narration here. Yeah, I kind of got slaughtered in the beginning here. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again. So, going back over it, so unfortunately there isn't going to be any other sound. So you won't get to hear me getting exploded repeatedly and falling into the water and failing. At least it wasn't acid, because I really thought it was acid this time. But, uh, I mean, it's bright blue. Usually the waters are the green, murky swamp color. But, it's alright. And I think this is the first level where there, where there are fish. Pretty sure. I don't recall seeing fish any other time. Not that the fish are actually, you know, a threat at any given time, but oh, oh except for this one well, that'll happen later, but there's this one time when fish are inadvertently a threat, not because they'll really get you or anything, but because you'll try to kill them with a lightning gun without thinking about it, just because it's there and then, you know, <laughs> You get electrocuted, so... Oh well. So now I'm just... Oh, there we go, the secret area. Yeah, I was trying to find that... Uh, the way out, actually, and I managed to find the secret area. Of course, Red Armor couldn't decide whether to pick it up now or hold off and get it later. I eventually decided to get it later. It's a good thing, too, because <laughs> that would have been annoying. Just pick up a new armor and then have a death knight right behind you, causing you to lose all of it. Jeez. But I do like this level. I think it's well structured and there's lots of traps and stuff, you know, like enemies hiding around corners and everything. Decent amount of power ups, too. Just not enough health, I found. But that's probably because I was just taking too much damage. Probably would have been a lot. Oh yeah, and exploding knights. Oh man, those knights when they explode, it's, it's pretty funny. I don't know how many times I managed to pull off the exploding knight thing. Generally, the double barrel shotgun doesn't <laughs> doesn't make things explode without quad damage. But for some reason, those death knights they just go up. They get gibbed real easily. Well, from from point blank, anyhow. When you do that to an ogre, it's just gonna fall down. Yeah. So. And then here, there's a wall that opens up with zombies in it. And I couldn't remember what caused the wall to open, so I was trying not to do too much here. Didn't want to hit the switch right away. And I try to get these. <laughs> Ogres up here. They can't reach me. So, I figure the nails are the best. They can travel a long distance and they're still accurate, so. Went over pretty well. Probably better than the shotgun would have. I mean, yeah, that's the wall that opens up. Shotgun spreads out too much at long distance. If I had the rocket launcher, that would have been great. There we go. Oh, I was hoping he'd explode again, but he didn't. Then I hear some more zombies. Yep, got him. It's not even a secret. I think that should be a secret, but oh well. And then I kind of forgot what exactly I had to do uh, to advance, because basically there's just this one path, and it keeps changing directions. And they all kind of look the same, but uh, there's generally only one way to go. Yeah, that opened up the door there, and uh, as you can see there, there's an ogre. I probably shouldn't have done that. Yeah, <laughs> I remember not doing well fighting him. Let's see, I'm down at 10 health now. 
Definitely needed more health on this level, but again, it's all my fault. And I kind of have to backtrack. And there are a lot of death knights on this level. Um, and for some reason they were all exploding. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why, really. I think it was just a coincidence that they all got gibbed like that. Not all of them, but so many of them. And and I know what's coming up here. There's going to be a couple fiends and a shambler and zombies across the water. And I didn't really remember exactly what happened in what order. So I figured I'd better save it since I only have 10 health. Spoiler alert, I'm pretty sure I do well. So Probably because I was actually being cautious at this point. Instead of, you know, shooting ogres through the window, not dodging. <laughs> oh wow, that was close. If I had been a little closer, you probably would have killed me right there. The fiend's claws really do a lot more health damage than armor damage. So yeah, I didn't quite kill one of the zombies. There we go, now they're all dead. And that opened up the wall there, which is a secret. So it's kind of neat that they put an enemy that you can only kill with explosives next to a secret that has to be opened by shooting it. So, you know, the splash damage is almost guaranteed to open it. Oh yeah, and I didn't want to pick up that health because was that's where the Shambler is. And I was like, oh, well, I'll just go for it. But the Shambler is actually behind a key door, so it's all right. to this area. You go through this area several times. Yeah. And then they all kind of look the same. But, uh, yeah, I recognize this immediately. Those holes in the wall are, uh, spike trap. And then on the other side of the spike trap is a whole lot of death knights. I think initially it's only one. But then there's a trap and a whole bunch come out. And it's not so bad on the other... Oh, no, it's an ogre. It's not so bad on the other difficulties. But... And, and when you're dodging him, you have to be... And the death knights, you have to be careful not to get hit by the spikes. Um, yeah, you pick up the key, and then all three of those open up with death knights on Nightmare. I think on the other difficulties, there's fewer death knights, but... Ugh. Just, just getting away from them is tough. And I was hoping that they would get spiked there. And another, another exploding death knight. I can't believe they just keep exploding like that. I was going to try to bring them into the trap and spike them. But yeah, it didn't work out well. <laughs> oh, that one didn't explode. I was going to get this guy. But no. And I wasn't even close. I was not even close to that guy and he exploded. I have no idea what was going on with this level. No idea. Well, I do know about this, though. So I got a nice 100 health power up there, and a new armor. And then that, uh, that opens up later. That's the secret, uh, second episode's secret level. Right there. The portal lies beyond. So, just have to remember not to get spiked here. That is key. That was, does a lot of damage. It's not instant kill, I don't think. But it will do a lot of damage. Kind of forgot again where I was going. Oh yes. I have the gold key. <laughs> I didn't have either weapon I wanted. I was like, rocket launcher? No. A Tesla gun? No, I don't have that yet. Great. And I was feeling good because I was finally back up to full full health and arm and everything. And then he's not coming down the steps, so I can't use the grenades on him because he won't just take another step down. Ah, there we go. He takes a step down, and then you just have to time it. Well, I got hit 
twice there. Three three times. <laughs> Need to be more cautious. I just want to get rid of him. There we go. Of course. Let's see. Oh yeah, the blue area. I remember I saw the blue walls and it made me think of uh the fourth episode when pretty much the fourth episode had lots of blue walls, which you'll see. And whenever there's a blue area like that, there's gonna be this horrible blue enemy that totally blends in with the wall. And uh yeah. More on that later, but I shouldn't have used all my nails here. I waste all my nails. There's a death knight over there that the ogre I was trying to make the ogre hit him. And it took a while. But eventually there we go. I think the Death Knight actually attacked the ogre. Couldn't tell. But I got him. Maybe I can make this guy explode. Will he explode? Come on. Oh wait, I'm using the wrong shotgun. He's not gonna explode with the crappy shotgun. Yeah, he just fell down. Ah well. And now there's plenty of health. Now that I don't really need the health pickups, there's plenty. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of glad the sound was off for this part because the noise that these things make is just obnoxious. Just dong, 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 dong. And it's just for minutes I had that going. And I was like, I find it annoying and I'm playing. You know, <laughs> wouldn't want to have to watch a couple minutes of somebody else playing it with that horrible noise. But yeah, the nails are great because they totally kill everybody. And if you can see it at the end of the hall there, there's an enemy getting hit by the spikes, and he's not even moving. He's just taking it. <laughs> and there's a switch up there that'll complete the drawbridge. So even if that enemy came to try to get me, he wouldn't. He wouldn't be able to. So. And there. Looks like he fell down. Oh wait, there's a second one. Okay, a second enemy is coming out. Oh, no, that one fell down too. So, yeah. I could just, you know, charge and not dodge all the, the nails there, but... You know, it's not really difficult to dodge. It's just a little time-consuming, so... And so then once the drawbridge goes, what's good is I've already killed those ogres. Because if you don't kill those ogres, then they'll be quite irritating. And yeah, I think I, I think I checked on how many enemies were left. Maybe not until I, until I actually go to the next room. But yeah, pretty much all the enemies left are in this next little. Yeah, there we go. Thirty-eight fifty-four. So there's sixteen enemies left, and they're pretty much all right here. So it's yeah, there's fiends, death knights, and shamblers in these two little areas. So I just run back and get the, get the nail guns, the nail guns in the walls to help me. And that was so lucky that the Shambler couldn't get me. And the nail gun is totally causing him to stop firing. See, two Shamblers. I, wow. Went from... <laughs> he's like, bruh, bruh, bruh. He's trying to fire, but the nail guns are canceling out his attack. Got really lucky there. Considering all the damage I just took. So I think there's plenty of health. I know there's a, a red armor. Oh, come on, make him explode. Explode. Oh, well, yeah, I didn't mind that he hit me because I remember that there was a uh, the red armor still. So it's not a big deal. There's also a secret here. I just forgot where it was right away. So, nails, I even got to replenish my health. Open up the secret exit. And then I got trapped in there. <laughs> there we go. And then down here, there's a couple more enemies. Some, I think it's just an ogre, actually. Oh, never mind. I always think there's an ogre there, but there isn't. Um, yep. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that was it. 
just a matter of going to the secret exit now. And there's a quad damage over there that I didn't get. Probably should have got it. But uh, now I have it. And now I don't need it. So, just going to the secret exit. Oh, I got to got to shoot a fish with it, I guess. Oh wait, I did remember that the red armor was there. That must be where I'm heading now. I kind of thought I forgot. But I guess at zero, I wouldn't forget. No more quad damage. What a waste. One fish. Couldn't even give it. There it is. All right, so going into the secret level, pretty good, uh, good amount of armor and health. Six enemies left. I think I forgot where the secret exit was. It was past that spike wall. Yeah, here we go. Through here, and then, and see that water is the normal swamp color water. Of course, I have to go through the back. I have no idea where those six enemies were. I mean, I got all four secrets. I don't recall skipping any enemies. I mean, whatever. Oof. This, this is a difficult level. Not the hardest or anything, but certainly not the easiest. So, I make the mistake of not going where that ogre is immediately. Because I'm thinking there might be a secret in that water. So, I'm going to go in the water, because it looks like you're supposed to go through the temple, right? But in my mind, I'm thinking, there's something that stops you from going in the temple. And then I jump in the water, and you can't get out. So I was like, oh, whoops. And then once I actually go ahead and swim, I immediately recognize that that is the way you have to go. Because something, I can't even remember now, but something does stop you from going through the temple. Probably a key door? I'm not sure. But I do, <laughs> something really funny here, to me. Because um, usually you go in there and then like ogres like get thrown out and they land and they're like, oh, ogres. But I just don't go in and somehow it gets triggered anyway. So, it's pretty funny, but I'll see you next time.